Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for the uh, first day uh, tournament report here at Lake Toho Kissimmee. Got an ice cream truck in the background here. Hope it didn't drown out the video too much, but man, it did not go very good for me today, guys. I had four fish that weighed six pounds and four ounces. I, that's probably gonna put me in mid pack somewhere like that. It was a tough day. There was the, the, the weights were really down. And when I left this little bit ago, the weigh-in the weigh was almost over and 17 pounds was leading, which is, one of the lowest leading weights I've ever seen here. So definitely a tough bite for everybody out there today. But I stayed offshore all day today. I, I really felt with the warm and weather, that would be the best chance for me to catch a big bag instead of going flipping that heavy cover. I didn't think that the heavy cover fish would hold up as good as the offshore fish. And uh, I am just scratching my head a little bit right now. I, I had four bites all day long. I caught one nice one about a little over a three pounder and then just three keepers to go with it but that's the only four bites i had so i normally in this lake when you get a bite you catch several off of one spot but these fish out offshore in that offshore grass they are not grouped up right now they are so scattered and you've got so much grass and you've got so much grass in different stages you got some topped out matted you got some that's real tall almost to the surface you got some that's just barely grown off the surface and it changes, you know, in real short periods. I just never landed on that spot where those fish were, were schooling up and biting a little bit. So looking at to tomorrow, you know, since I'm mid pack and the weights are down, I know, you know, if I can go out and catch a really good sack tomorrow, I still got a chance of making the top 10 here. I mean, if I can get a 18, 20 pound bag tomorrow, which is definitely doable. I mean, you're, you catapult from you know, mid pack all the way up to the top 10. I'm probably gonna start out offshore tomorrow. And then based upon how that goes, if they're not biting, I think I'm gonna lock down. I'm gonna go to those flipping fish just to see if they're gonna bite. I, you know, even though I, you know, caught 12 or 13 pounds on them, you still have the potential of catching a big one anytime you're flipping. So that's the plan. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to that spot where I caught the three pounder today, um, give that, you know, basically let the lock settle down let everybody get through the lock uh, fish in there probably an hour with them to lock through and uh, go flip and pulling out the big rod i got uh, 65 pound test uh, braid on and uh you know probably try to catch them flipping unless they're just biting real good right off the bat offshore but you know it's a lot of times in these tournaments here when you uh after you get off the water you sort of you reflect and you and you sort of think what well, I would what well, you'd have done different if you had it to do over again I don't think I'd have done anything different I think that with the conditions that we had I think the way that I was fishing was the way that you need to fish I just like I said I did not land on that little active grass bed and I think that's the whole key everybody that I saw was basically doing the same thing most everybody here in this tournament is fishing out off the bank at Toho um, and that's why you know you've got a handful of guys that caught them that landed on those schools and most of the guys that didn't a lot of one and two fish bags today a lot of co-angler zeros just a really tough bite here today on on toho kissimmee but anyway the, the weather's warming up every day fish are moving uh they're out there to be caught so i'm gonna i'm gonna make a 360 or 180 tomorrow and to go from fishing reaction baits offshore to putting that flipping stick in my hand so anyway guys hopefully tomorrow i'll have a better story to tell hopefully i'll have a good story about the comeback i make but if i don't um at least if, if i don't catch them tomorrow i'll have some tips and advice on maybe not what to do or maybe the, the mistakes i made and if i make a big comeback tomorrow i can give you some tips on how to make those adjustments so Anyway, gonna get back and uh, get some tackle worked on and get prepped for tomorrow. Again, thanks for tuning in guys, much appreciated and we'll talk to you soon.